What's up, everyone? It's Denise Salcedo. Welcome back to Instinct Culture. And I am very, very excited because my guest for today is none other than WWE's own Jay Ooh. Uso. What's up, Jay? What's up, girl? Thanks for having me on. I like your background. Thanks so much. You know, it's always very exciting when people point it out. I try to make, you know, make it a little bit fun, you know, add some cool stuff here and there, you know, spice it up a little bit. That's right. That's right. Unfortunately, mine, uh, I'm kind of remodeling, you know, I, my kids stuff, guitars, you know what I'm saying? We good though. Let's get it. Awesome. So Jay, you know, I am excited to talk to you because the last and the last couple of months, I think have been very, very different for you. Uh, the fans have been able to sort of see you shine very differently as a singles competitor. So I kind of wanted to get inside your mind and find out what this journey the last couple of months has been for you, given that again, you've been able to sort of show what you yourself are bringing to the table. Yeah, man, I think, you, oh, Man, I kind of found found myself, you know. I, I said in all my interviews, like, you know, when Jimmy when Jimmy got injured and you know had his ACL uh, torn, man, I was like, damn, there we go, you know. But like, I I give this advice to every upcoming young wrestler who want to get in the game, like, man, if you if you if you prepare yourself, stay ready, so you ain't got to get ready. Your time will come. It came knocking on the door. It was all of a sudden like I legit had a had a I, I went from karaoke hosting the girl women's smackdown karaoke to having a fatal four-way match you know and i win and now i'm going against roman reigns clash of champions headline single then i did hell in the cell with roman reigns man and then i now i'm just like taking off from there it was like so so that was a kickstart with my own and who would have thought like it was against my you know my blood like the top guy in wwe roman reigns man so man i'm enjoying this ride like i I know, I know I ain't wasting it. I know I'm on right now. And I know I'm lit every Friday. You could tell, dude, like, I, my, the fire is lit, bro. Like, oh, you can feel it. On. You can feel it 100%. So that's kind of where I want to get at. You know, you mentioned the fact that when, you know, Jimmy got injured, you're thinking like, oh, like, this is obviously going to affect the both of us. But then lo and behold, you get this opportunity to work alongside Roman Reigns, you know, your cousin, your blood, your family member. So what was your initial reaction to finding that out? I was like, y'all playing. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, y'all like, get out of here, bro. I'm, I'm back here catering, you know? <laughs> But they're like, no, they're like, oops, you own that. And I'm like, but man, let's go. You know, when, when the time got closer, I'm like, oh, oh, okay, okay. And then, and then as each week went by, each week went by, man, you could, you could, you could see me growing. Like, man, yeah. people started getting behind, bro. And I wasn't even supposed to be there, bro. Like a lot, I had a lot of negativity all over. Like, man, this guy, you know, tag team guy, whatever, bro. Whatever, you know. And now, now, like, we, you over here cheering for your boy now. You know, I appreciate it, but damn, you know, like, let's skip all that negativity, man, and, and respect the crap. Was, like, let's respect the work. And I'm happy, like, I'm around Paul Heyman and Roman Reigns every week, you know. I'm, I'm sitting under Paul Heyman's learning tree every week, you know. I'm like, man, it's just, it's, it's a different vibe at work. And I'm not wasting this opportunity, man. I enjoy going to work now. Like it took it took a long time to get here. And then when my brother come right back around, man, we just about to turn up in the tag division and we still gonna hold it down for the tribal chief, man. Straight up. And I think that's my favorite thing about all of this, because you talk about the fact that, you know, there's haters or people that maybe are like, oh, yeah, he's a tag team guy. He's not up to this, whatever. Right. But I really, you know, from a viewer's perspective, a fan's perspective, sort of watching you come about and really become your own person, aside from, you know, being the tag team with Jimmy, like you really came about and been was your you were your own person. And I feel like you really saw that this was your opportunity and you ran with it. So from you, I don't want to put words in your mouth, but how did did you think like this is my opportunity and I got to show the world what's inside of me man hell yeah then yes 100 because it was always it was hard because you know everybody knew Jimmy like you the to it was total divas and Naomi. it was always Jimmy and Naomi and I get it like man I'm gonna support my brother too from the and my sister from you know off top you know um so I already knew now I bet if we stand by each other you gonna know me too like Man, that's Jay, that's Jimmy. Blatantly, you can tell us apart. But I, I knew, I knew this was a time for me to ain't no, ain't no more holding back. Ain't no more second chances. 
ain't no more being sh- I, I'm humbled off the top, but ain't I mean that I mean it's time to go get it. Like it is time to run through every and any damn body. And that's what that's my mindset now, man. Kevin Knowles, AJ Styles, Daniel Bryan, they all can get this work. A lot of people's like, oh man, he ain't going, man. He ain't he ain't gonna amount to this. Man, y'all better than that. <laughs> Everybody can run up and get done up straight up. And 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 they start they starting to figure that out firsthand. No, I 100% agree. And here's the thing, too, is that fans, you know, got to see you do awesome stuff at Night of Champions, Hell in a Cell. And it was one of the most, you know, what you and Roman Reigns were doing was one of the most talked about storylines, one of the hottest storylines that everybody was talking about. So how did you feel about your performance? And was there ever any doubts for you where you're like, man, like, here I am, like, this is the, the, the grand stage and I'm doing it, you know, with Roman Reigns? No, I knew... I knew because it was so comfortable being in there against my cousin and a lot of it felt real. So it was easy for us to portray that realness. And that's why like people got with it. People got behind me, man. Cause they, you could see like, man, dog, like I could feel this right here. And that showcased more than wrestling. If you, if you watch the clash of champions and the hell in the cell, bro, if we, we didn't do no damn 450 splashes and nothing like that, bro. Like we didn't do none of that. You know, it was strictly storytelling. And we hit a different level, like, and I needed people, people, people recognized it, you know, we had you feeling some kind of way. We had you like, like you was going to cry something like, man, you don't cry no wrestling match, <laughs> you know, like you don't, you don't feel like, oh my God, like you, you watching the soap opera right here. But that's, exactly. that, that's the beauty of professional wrestling. You know what I'm saying? When you can for, let people forget that, man, and just be invested in these characters, like, well, this is legit real life. Man, we doing our job. But I'm happy, man, because I don't think I could have pulled it off with anyone else but him. And I don't think he could have pulled that off with anyone else but me. And I was and you know, I'm like the first angle, you know, he going in as a bad guy. And it just set him off because they're like, yo, Roman Reign is a straight, you know, like a-hole, oh, yeah. like, damn, bro, like. I used to like you, man, you know, so it, think, it worked, man. Yes, I agree with you. I feel like it really solidified him as a heel, as this bad guy, as this new persona. And speaking of Roman Reigns' new persona, persona, how has it been like for you working so close to him and sort of seeing him try all of this new stuff before that, you know, the fans that we've never seen before out of him? Yeah, man, it, it, it was just, a, it was a timing thing. Is it? Sorry, my, my son's over here watching. Okay. Man, man. It's a timing <laughs> thing, though, because if we would have gave Roman Reigns like what people wanted him now, maybe maybe this Roman Reigns wouldn't exist today. You know what I'm saying? So, people, man, come on, bro. Like, you got to enjoy your food. You know, just don't scarf it down. You know what I'm saying? I yeah. I love I love seeing him do his thing because I know that's really him. Like, man, what he be doing is like he really feeling himself, and then I be feeling myself too. Like. When I come out with him, bro, because I'm like, bro, everybody about to get this work. Like, y'all have no idea, bro. Y- y'all have no idea. I love seeing it every week. Every week, bro, I want, I want, I want, I want to just, just turn up. Yes, and it's been one of my favorite parts, one of my favorite aspects of watching SmackDown. It's kind of like, all right, well, what, what's going to go on today? Like, you know, with everything that's been going on, I feel like all of the promos that Roman has been cutting and everything that he's been doing with you and Paul Heyman, everything has sort of been very carefully constructed. And I think that the fans are liking that and they're really following that along. So as I mentioned that, let's talk about your upcoming match this Friday on SmackDown, Steel Cage match against Daniel Bryan. I mean, what are your thoughts going into this? This match and then also the facts getting to work with somebody like Daniel Bryan. Man, Dan Sweet, aka Swiss Beats, he's the man, you know. He is the man. But I'm gonna tell you this though, man. I done put Daniel Bryan down before and I'm gonna put him down again. And if y'all saw last week, man, I almost had him, but I counted myself out on accident, you know, trying to do him. But uh little brother keeps stepping up and, and he got heart like Kevin Owens, but guess what? They all stepped up and we all put them right back down. So this Friday, bro, like me and Daniel Bryan, I ain't in no cage with with, with Roman Reigns at and no Hell in a Cell. I, I ain't in no damn elimination chamber match with five other people. I'm I'm in there one on one with the goat, Daniel Bryan, bro. And and I'm telling you this, uh, the, everybody gonna want to watch this. Y'all gonna want to watch this. Y'all gonna want to watch this. It's either, yes. it's, either I'm gonna, it's either I'm gonna level up or he gonna level up. 
it's a, it's dog eat dog right now. It's 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 alpha versus alpha right now. You know, it's J Main the Ben Uso against the Goat, and I'm ready to put it down. It was, I mean, I, I mean, Roman Reigns gonna be watching somewhere. I mean, that too. I gotta get him off my back too sometimes because he be breathing down my neck, and I, I don't like all that. <laughs> Well, you know what? That's what happens with the tribal chief, the head of the table, breathing down your neck. But yeah. honestly, Jay, I'm very excited for this match because, you know, not only do you have, you know, all the stakes and everything on the line here, but it's also like just looking at everything that you've been doing and then also everything that Daniel Bryan has been doing. I'm very excited to see what you guys do in that steel cage. So before we do move on to our second portion of the interview, I do got to ask because we touched on this briefly and I have got to ask on the status of Jimmy, how's he doing? what's his rehab like and is he close to you know returning anytime soon yeah man my brother's rehab is going just as planned you know uh keep your head on the swivel because he might be creeping and it's gonna be real 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 soon oh so penitentiary might be open real real soon all right all right I like that. I like that. Okay, let's go ahead and jump into our second portion of this interview. Uh, you got me all excited. I was like, oh, okay. You know? <laughs> I, I, I had video with him a little on Instagram page. I don't know, but I saw him. I put it out there. He over there working out and, you know, getting his knee right. I'm like, all right, bro, you need to do some more work because I yes. need you. I need you, boy. Yes, exactly, exactly. <laughs> awesome. So this is what we're going to do now, Jay. We're going to jump into our lightning round portion where I'm going to ask you All 10 right. super random questions. You go ahead and answer them and um, let's go ahead and do it. Here we go. Are you guys ready for a lightning round with Jay Uso? Here we go. Question number one. What's the best and worst thing about being a twin? Uh, all right. This is a true story. I got in trouble for him uh, uh, when we was in the fifth grade, man. He he gonna beat up, he gonna hit a wrestling move on somebody. And then and then I'm gonna be the one to get called in the principal's office. No. That was some that was some BS. And number two is I always got a friend, I always got a partner through all these miles and all these road trips, man. He was always there with me, so I'm never lonely. Amazing. It's like the two and two, like you're taking the blame, but at the same time, never lonely. Yeah, I'm like, very, very cool, man. Hey, did you admit you're like wrong twin here? Did you tell I them? I tried. They were like, yeah, they were like, yeah, sure, sure. Yeah, whatever, buddy. I'm like, all right, all right. Wow. Now he walks in. But. Wow. Question number two, what's the worst prank you and your brother ever played on Roman growing up? Uh, Man, you know, we never played no pranks because he was always with us. But I think one of the worst pranks that we did play was uh, we tried to switch classes in school. And that was a day that uh, I had a test and he completely failed my damn test. So, yeah, I dropped like to a D in that class. It was horrible. <laughs> Wrong decision. We should have did it on a Friday or something. Oh, no. <laughs> Question number three. What's the last item you purchased online? Some Air Force Ones. Nice. nice. We got to keep them white. We got to keep them icy white now. You know what I'm saying? Yes. Question number four. What's the city you miss traveling to the most? Uh, I'd have to say uh, probably L.A., California. You know? Yeah, my hometown. <laughs> You know, that's where our people's at. Let's go. Yes, yes. I'm feeling you on that one. Uh, question number five. If you weren't a wrestler, what would you be? Probably a coach. Like, I, I love kids. Like, I, I always wanted to be, I went to college for, for uh, um, sports management, but definitely coach being around kids. Incredible. Sure. Incredible. Uh, question number six. What were your thoughts when you would see your dad do the stink face? Ew. <laughs> I'm glad I ain't got I'm glad I ain't behind that. There's one picture with Trish Stratus. It's out there. If y'all Google it, just put Rikishi stink face Trish Stratus, bro. It looked like a blonde hair is literally hanging out his butt straight up. <laughs> oh my God. Uh, question number seven. Besides your father, who was your favorite wrestler growing up? Man, Ultimate Warrior. Yeah, that's when me. That's when me and my brother got like the, the old Uso, you know, bright colors and the, the bright paint from, you know, awesome. definitely ultimate that. warrior, ultimate warrior. I love that. Uh, question number eight. What's your guilty pleasure snack? Man, pizza all day. Yes. Yes. I, I just ordered some and, and I got a big match Friday, but I just ordered some. And I'm nice. like, you know what? I'm gonna take a light on DB. It's all good. No, I'm gonna keep my shirt on. I'm gonna keep my shirt. 
<laughs> what are your go-to toppings? This isn't part of the question here, but I got to know. Oh, I'm supreme all day though. Like yeah. all the vegetables, just, 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 just throw it on there and, and a big old tub of uh, uh, some ranch. Oh my God. Stop it. Okay. We're, we're down. I mean, are you Stop triple it. it? You triple it? You have no idea, Jay. I have for the last like several months on Twitter been taking so much flack and been getting so much heat because I posted a video of myself dipping pizza in ranch and you have no idea all the hate I got for that. Man, y'all better get off my girl, man. Y'all better be quiet. Y'all better try that damn ranch. Stop, yes. stop playing around, man. They gonna be like this. You know what? She was right. She sure was right. Thank you. Thank you. And I was going to ask you, but then I was like, no, I was like, what if he says it's gross? And then you said it. And I was like, what? This is crazy. Oh, man. Okay. I am so happy right now. I'm going to like clip this out, post it on social media. <laughs> like this is going to yeah, be yeah, like yeah. my revenge on everybody. <laughs> um, here we go. Uh, I don't know question. Okay. Here we go. Question number nine. Do you Google yourself? No. Okay. No. That's because, good. because I don't want to see the bad stuff that pops up on it. We all know you know, I don't do that. Your next article is going to read, Ew, Jay Uso dips his pizza in ranch. Disgusting. <laughs> You're going to see me, and I'll be over there crying like, man, I should not have said that on Daniel. On the air. Exactly. Uh, last question, question number 10. Name one item from your bucket list of things you'd like to do. Uh, bungee jump. Ooh, yes. Yeah. Or sorry, I like that and like uh, what, what, uh, skydive. Skydiving? Yeah. I feel like bungee jumping scarier than the skydiving, though. Yeah, man, yeah. I don't know. I don't know. We'll, we'll get there, though. We'll get there. I definitely though. Before I'm fifty, for sure. Perfect, perfect, Jay. That is our interview for today. I want to thank you so much for coming on here and chatting with me. Uh, it's been great to see everything that you've been doing, and I'm excited for this match on SmackDown this Friday. And before we go, feel free to plug in anything you'd like to plug in, social medias, etc. Man, hey, man, take a break off that social media stuff, man, because it ain't good for you. I mean, no one to breathe, you know, no, no one to look up. You know what I'm saying? That's all I'm going to say. And my bad, I've been calling you the wrong name the whole time, Denise. No, you have it. Or if you did, I didn't notice. I said whatsoever. Denise. All right, all right, all right. All right. No. All right. Maybe I was saying it wrong. I said Danielle, Denise, maybe. maybe. Oh, don't wrong. worry I about just... it. I didn't even notice. I don't That's my girl, though. Y'all know I what I mean. I don't think you said Den I have I don't think you did. I think you're fine. <laughs> all right, all right, all right. Whoa, whoa, my bad, my bad. <laughs> Anyways, I'm about to eat this pizza and ranch and think about you and all the haters out there. Yes, sir. Hey, tune in on Friday, though, man. J Main Event Uso about to get down. I'm, I'm going to show y'all why I deserve this position. Yee. Awesome. Guys, thank you so much for watching. Please do not forget to give this video a like. Subscribe to the channel for more. This has been Denise Salcedo. This is Jay Uso, and we'll see you guys next time. Bye, everyone.